Hey guys, welcome back to our new video and I know it's been long since I made any video but hey, here I am. Thank you for sticking by and thank you for tons of messages about how much you uh, like my videos and how much my content is helping you. I'm very glad, I'm very 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 glad that even like if I can help one person completely in their journey towards master, master's degree, that's amazing. So. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who takes time to write that appreciation message or comment on my video or just go and like and share it something like that i'm highly 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 grateful for each one of you we just hit uh, 40,000 41,000 subscribers and it's insane it has always been my dream to uh, see these numbers and now when they are coming um, live in my life uh, it's amazing so it's an amazing feeling uh, i know i'm not uploading every day but i'm trying to stick by i love the way you talk to me when nobody is listening <laughs> video we're going to talk about how to crack any interview that you get and specifically going around software engineering and data science taking up examples from my uh, experience of applying and getting into microsoft as a software engineer intern which i did last summer uh, when i was a student at university of southern california studying computer science most of you are aware of what kind of questions uh, they ask in a computer science or a software engineering interview it's mostly uh, centered around algorithms databases networking questions etc etc depends on the role that you are applying for in software engineering but what no one tells you is uh, how to actually prepare for these interviews face and answer every question that the interviewer is asking and for that i am very very grateful to all the tips that i got from my seniors and my mentors and it's really important to have uh, a mentor when you are going for such interviews because they have a broader uh, view and perspective on the industry that you might not be even looking at. So it's always good to like take tips from uh, people who have experience in the similar roles that you are applying to. Finding a mentor and that to a good mentor is a very, very challenging task. If you want someone to create a roadmap for you on how to ace these interviews or how to actually even get these interviews and how to succeed in your career path get promotions etc etc and to solve this problem i'm going to introduce you to a platform called preplaced so preplaced is a platform where you can find mentors from various different backgrounds related to data science computer science hardware engineering software engineering etc etc the mentors on this platform gives you tailored guidance that are specifically required for you to achieve your goals and targets they also help you in reviewing your resume and taking your mock interviews and they make sure that you are putting your best foot forward every time so that you can crack your dream job. Uh, the best part is the mentors on this platform, they also help you get referrals, which are very important when you're applying for a job. So check out preplace.in. It's absolutely free to sign up there and they also have free sessions going on every now and then uh, from different mentors uh, you can even get your first session with the mentor of your choice for free so go check out preplace.in highly recommended uh, coming back to the video uh, we were going to talk about interviews and how to crack an interview it's a six step process so the first step in cracking an interview is actually applying for an interview a lot of people reach out to me asking that they are just doing masters right now and then the first semester second third blah 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 but uh, they always ask me like what is the right time when should i apply should i apply now or should i apply later i would suggest that whenever you see a role opened on a website and if you are eligible to start working by that period just apply uh, don't wait for uh, I, I, I don't know, like, I don't know why, why you should wait for uh, anything to apply to a firm because I believe that there are always specific number of open positions. If your interview is scheduled 
uh, after all those positions are filled then they won't even interview you if you actually want to uh, interview with companies then you should apply before uh, because that gives you an upper hand as well so the chances of you getting an interview are more if you apply before the second step is preparing your resume i have always emphasized on this that the resume gives a picture about you to an interviewer and it should be concise enough uh, that they can go through it within 10 to 20 seconds because they generally get a lot of uh, resumes and not all of the resumes are going to be like uh, super good so just put some eye-catching impactful work for example if you have worked on uh, some of the machine learning model or uh, when you're applying for a data science role then you can just how that project made an impact on the society or how that project was envisioned by you in a way that uh, this will have that much impact etc etc so always talk about impact always talk about how it brought a change to the firm or to the to whatever goal you were uh, decided on when you uh, started working on that project then customize your resume according to the role that you are applying to uh, there'll be a ton of uh, projects for example when i was applying to microsoft i knew i was applying for a software engineer role i had a lot of data science projects plus software engineer projects on my uh, portfolio but what i want to highlight on my resume is not now data science projects they are going to be software engineering projects so my, <clears throat> my resume for microsoft is tailored from what i did for jp morgan uh, for an example so tailor your resume every time you apply for a role or for a company in a way that it aligns with the goals of the companies or the goals of the role that you are applying to it is very common mistake that people try to uh, go into design i don't know why uh, for resumes but you should keep your resume very simple there's a standard design i'm gonna link that standard design in the description below uh, just follow that design uh, don't put pictures don't put any designs and make it one page always make your resume one page no matter the experience level no matter what role no matter how many projects you have always make it one page always put in only the work that has made impact nobody reads about hobbies anymore on resume so don't put that out once you have a good resume um, you can uh, apply once you have a good resume the next step is to get that coding interview so if you have a good resume and you applied on time uh, the next step is going to be acing that coding test so for me in microsoft i got one coding test and it consisted of uh, several questions uh, coding questions and that's how most of the tech companies hire professionals for software engineering or even data science roles don't panic your goal is just to uh, show your coding skills to them and just it's just a screening for people who know coding and who don't know coding so you don't have to find the best solution best solution possible but always try to do as many questions correctly as possible they're gonna be the questions are generally around lead code if you don't know a uh, link in the description leadcode.com is a platform where uh, you find questions from different questions of different levels low medium and high and those questions have been asked previously in different companies and the platform also tells you which company asked this question and what kind of uh, how much time it should take to complete it generally or on average how much time people take it to complete it so it's a really great platform really really necessary for all those coding tests and once you're done with your coding test the next step is always going to be interviews so the first round is always the screening round and that was the same for me at microsoft a 30 to 35 minute coding round and a 10 minutes behavioral is what uh, you can expect in those screening rounds generally people consider screening rounds as the one with hr or with just the manager talking about your hobbies uh, but again nobody do, does that anymore in the industry it's always about how much you can solve how good are your strategic abilities how good are you at solving problems and answering questions so even if like in in general even if you don't have a, the best answer during that round it's fine they are just testing you on how much you are able to think about it so uh, the best tip ever is just speak it out loud whatever you're thinking 
just speak it out loud to the interviewer and that's how you maintain a two way communication and that's what the interviewer wants from you they don't want a person who just can solve they want a person who can interact and collaborate uh once you are done with your screening the next is the interview day so at big tech especially at mangs um they ask you for uh, completely around 4 to 5 hours of separate time uh, because it's a back to back interviews and that's what happened for me for the internship interviews it was a series of four rounds of four technical rounds and they all ask you questions from different levels of coding definitely from lead code they also test you on different abilities so um they they might ask you questions around software engineering and software engineering includes making strategies around how you're going to design your problem how you're going to solve your problem what is the best solution possible if not this solution then what is the another solution so there are like couple of things that they test you on and uh each each round is generally 45 to 60 minutes where 40 to 50 minutes is uh dedicated to coding and rest 10 to 15 minutes is just introductions and any questions from your side don't hesitate asking questions always speak out your mind and that's the best advice i think for any interview possible always speak it out loud whatever you're thinking just speak it out loud um and yeah that's mostly it uh once you're done with this all these interview rounds the next round is an hr round where they tell you whether you succeeded or not or generally it's about like few behavioral questions and then they tell you like uh what team do you want and why do you want to join this company and always have those answers ready don't say a generic answer that i want to join microsoft because microsoft is microsoft you can't say that um just mention points that i want to join microsoft because this is the firm that started windows because this is the firm that started the software why do you want to join amazon because this is the firm that started the best ear e-commerce website etc etc and there can be tons of different answers and there can there's no wrong or right in it but just how you say it and what points you bring to the table at that time matters uh, also in hr round they ask you about uh, they talk to you about the beliefs and the principles of the company so um, at microsoft they talked about how you bring impact to the table so how you have growth mindset because that's what they care about most so they test you on those terms by asking you questions around your life like uh, for for example from your resume you had this project but how did you tackle this problem on your resume etc etc so just read about the company and be prepared um, don't show that like even if you are applying to 100 of companies at a at one single point but don't show that you are interested in other companies show that how you are the perfect fit for this company and that's how companies want you like they they want a person who is dedicated enough to a company to work for them they don't want a robot they don't want a person who can solve problems chat gpt can do it but you bring that human touch to the table so learn about the company learn about their beliefs their principles read about it be passionate about the company and that's how you can interview after all these rounds i think you're going to get uh, acceptance or reject mail for me it was a call from hr and i i clearly remember that it was diwali uh, last last year uh, when i got a call from hr uh, saying that i got into microsoft and that's probably the best news that i've ever heard or wanted to hear from a long time at that time uh, over call so uh, yeah all the best for all of the people who are going to interview it's a tough time right now the industry is going pretty slow uh, stay there i am proud of each one of you who's trying every day to crack interviews and um reach out to me on linkedin or instagram if you need my help uh plus like share subscribe go to preplace.in check them out their website they give amazing mentorships your mentors can help you in finding the right career path for you or cracking that interview so go to preplace.in and i will see you in the next video bye